It is day six. It is 6.02, getting our stuff packed so we can just um, go get some breakfast and then cut out and leave. Um, our shuttle is coming a little around eight o'clock, I think. So we're gonna get some breakfast in the lobby. Yeah, so we just wanted to have our bags packed so that we can just like pick up and go. Um, but yeah, we're ready to get out there. Um, weather forecast is great. Chuck's hair is even greater. <laughs> look, at this, look at this cowlick in the back. <laughs> it's something. You got behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, BTS. See how the sausage is made. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, just want to tell you good morning. We're gonna get the day started. Back to trail we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You guys have a great day. You too. All right, we're back at Neil Gap. Gonna pick up our stuff. <laughs> the most expensive footprint of our lives. We got it overnighted. Don't ask me how much it was. I don't want to tell you. Um, but it feels nice to drop this polygraph. So it kind of holds on to water and leaves and yeah. So. Excited to see it go. That went on order. Let's do it. We found Orange Kitty at Neil Gap. <laughs> looks like he wants to go with you. Yeah. I was just hoping he's not jumping in. <laughs> no, it looks like he just he's moving on, I think. Yeah. Alright. And we're walking. Got a little climb out of Neil Gap, so he'll hear me huffing and puffing. But plan is how many miles today? 11.9 to low gap shelter um some gear swaps already as i mentioned the footprint full disclosure we didn't do a trial run with the polycro beforehand had we have i wouldn't have brought it it's just the at is so wet and it like held on to every drop of water every leaf and we have a durston tent so the uh it's an awkwardly shaped tent, so left a, yeah, it was just not an ideal situation. So glad we made that switch. And we switched out our pack liners because Chuck blew his out and I just got rid of mine because the Nile flume is just so noisy. We didn't ever want to be the first people up in the morning because it is crinkly. It's different when it's just the two of us, but I felt bad. So we just got regular compactor bags at Neil. So those are the swaps we've made thus far. And I'm gonna put you back in my pocket so you don't have to listen to me pant anymore. <laughs> wow. Oh. Mom, thank you so much for sending the footprint. Oh. I love you. Yes. Thank you, Mom. Just thought I'd show this huh? fog to everyone. Super creepy, but really cool. Just, the forest is just very quiet and muffled and it's really neat. down uh, we went about two and a half miles we finally got a little flat spot so I can pull this out to chat because we had a lot of rocky downhill and I do not want to pull my phone out in those moments because um, I will tumble down a mountain um, what, what did you say babe oh he's talking about these he bought some uh, pretty hefty protein bars. I think they're like the Meta Rex bars. Oh, I want a bite. Um, but they're, they're so big. And they weigh, they weigh a ton, but yeah. It's like a, it's like a baseball bat size protein bar. No big deal. Hold on, I want a bite. I'm t talking to everyone. Not running with my phone in my hand. What flavor is it you get?
Tastes like a protein bar. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. I know, right? <laughs> Morning, everybody. So we just passed some day hikers that have alluded to the fact that we may be approaching some trail magic. And it's almost lunchtime, so... That's kind of perfect. And the trail just got super muddy. Sorry, it was distracting. But uh, the day is starting to clear up. As you can see, we're starting to see some mountains around us, which is awesome. Heather's knee is so far feeling much better than it was last week, which has me very excited and happy. And uh, yeah. We'll probably show you more when we get to the gap and or, uh, get to this so-called trail magic. Let's see, I see a tent. I'm hopeful. So yeah, made it down the gap. So we've got 5.5 on the day. It is whoop, straight up noon. So we started at 9.30, making good time for a lunch stop if this is indeed trail magic. Could we be so lucky? I think we are. Yes. This is probably the best we're going to come across in a long time. This is so incredible. Uh, to make it to Maine? To make it to Maine. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Clink, clink. Thank you. Thank you. So this trail magic was absolutely amazing. Such a cool stop. How's it going so far? After that trail magic too. <gasps> she warned us. She was like, it's not gonna be a climb up. <sighs> I'm like, alright. She was not lying. Yeah. We just had walk with me. The best trail magic ever. I mean, this setup was bonkers absolutely epic so nice so generous of these people they had soup coffee cold brew sodas gatorade whiskey beer green beer they had they were making hot dogs water they had homemade brownies and treats Tons of stuff to take with you. Ponytails for the girls, meds, earplugs, treats for the dogs. Ridiculous. It was awesome. Coming up through Hogpen Gap. Looks like there's some more magic over here. Oh, yeah, more magic over there. Oh man, we we just got we stopped from down there. Otherwise, I would have saved room. But thank y'all for what you're doing. That's awesome. <sighs> Yeah, I filled up. Yeah, filled up too much. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, right? So coming up through Hogpen Gap and just pass up some more trail magic. And now we're coming up to the Mark Trail Wilderness in the Chattahoochee National Forest. And she said it was a heck of a climb coming out of that gap and she was not lying. There's no way I was talking to y'all during that climb. But 106, still making good time. Great weather. Good day, good day. Had some soup, a Dr. Pepper. I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in a very long time. And it was about as good as I remember. But I needed those, that fast liquid carbs for that climb. 
So a little bit more for the day. I think we said we hit halfway at that trail magic stop. Yeah, so already over with half the day, so that's cool to think about. guys can see it but we've got a pretty good conga line of hikers going right now out of that trail magic <laughs> it's like we keep leapfrogging each other the whole time so chuck keeps stopping every two seconds because he thinks he sees flakes of <laughs> arrowheads so he loves to go uh, look for them don't worry we're not taking anything that we find we know that it's very much against the rules and we aren't doing that, so please don't worry. <laughs> but he still likes to keep his eyes out and look. Look for him. So I think we made it to, I think we made it to the shelter to 247. Uh, we had a nice uh, little bubble of people we were walking with and leapfrogging the whole time. But we were gonna possibly push on another mile, but we decided not to. I mean, this is, um, what's a mile, you know? We're not, you know, gaining anything by being crazy today. So a 12-ish mile day, or just under 12. So, yeah, especially with my knee, I didn't want to push anything. But it actually feels fantastic today. So, vibe check. Vibes are like Dude, I'm, 15. Dude, I'm vibing so hard. <laughs> like, let me to flip you around. Vibes are like 15 out of 10 today. Um, nice short day. My knee feels fantastic. Um, amazing trail magic. I'm gonna post up here for the night. Yeah, solid, solid day. Oh, I thought that. No, I thought that might have been uh, Mike's bag. But I think I think I saw Mike kept going. So these are to be sites. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can. We'll just keep walking, looking and yeah. see if there's anything down there more. So we just uh, set up the tent in a <laughs> found a beanie. It was wrapped up in the tent, so now I have two. <laughs> it's an early night tonight. <laughs> Chuck is reading and I'm literally editing the video as we speak, so. Yep. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>